Hi folks, day three of the Easter holidays and uh, we've come to Boomer Beach. Well, Good. day three for you. Yeah, yeah, day ten for you pesky kid. Uh, come to Boomer Beach to do some rock pooling. So, uh, we've checked the tide times, we've got the nets, we've got the buckets. We're going to see how many different species we can find. So, we've all had estimates. We've had a little, we've had a little bet. I reckon 12. What do you reckon? 15. 15. What did Archie reckon? Nine. 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 So we'll see how many we get by the end. But uh, we're an hour away from low tide. So you can see that there's, when the tide's out here, it's quite a big expanse, like a natural bay. Catch you in a minute. Female. Female what? Um. Yeah, it's adventurous. What do you call them, Art? What? What type Devil of? Eye. Devil eye Devil crab. Eye. What's your fingers? It's all right. We're not going to put that one in the bucket because we've got lots of other little things, and they tend to eat everything else. So it's not an edible crab that one, although you can eat it. So the distance so across the top of its shell from there to there. If you're going to take a moment and eat them, it should be six and a half centimetres. Right then, so just over there, we've had one of the best finds of the day. We've just found a little lobster. So, and it's got a little lobster with giant claws. A giant claws, only got one. Yeah. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a massive one. And so we're just, we're not going to put that in the bucket because the air claws will bite everything. But, wow, that's over my head, that is. <laughs> But it's, it's quite a fast swimmer because you've got the tail on the end and that propels it through the water. So it's a bit, it was a bit of a nightmare it's closer catching than you think it. You know. it's closer than you think. And it's a, maybe about six inches long. Yeah. Okay. It's a blue that. lobster. Nice. Blue leg lobster. <laughs> I'll put him back in the, in the rock pool. Yeah, because we don't want to eat them everything. We're only keeping little things in the bucket because if you put big crabs and lobsters and stuff in like this, they end up eating everything, so we'll just let him go. Bye right, bye. Um, right then. Lovely blue tail on it. When you're looking around the rock pools, if you see this pink crust stuff, um, it's aptly named pink crust. And it's a sign that the water quality is good and that the marine life is just generally healthy. So when you are rock pooling, fill your boots and turn the rocks over, but then put them back where you find them as well, because uh, it helps stuff like that grow if it's left in the same place. Right, then. Go on. right then, so in here we have got this starfish. Which is just like a common starfish. And then we've got the this one. Which is a... Uh, I don't know. Brittle star. And then we've got this one, which neither of us know what it look, what it is. Neither of us really know what it is, more like. We haven't seen one of them before. Put it back in. And then that's it. Well, it's obvious. It's the pink one. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. So we're going to rename that one. The pink. The pink starfish. The pink. But we brought a white bucket because everything shows up a little bit better. So I'm going to pop these ones back and have a mooch in another pool. See you starfish! I've got to find out what that little pink one is though because it's pretty cool. We haven't seen one of them before. Take two, crab collection. So we've got this little fella here is a hermit crab. Well there's quite a few hermit crabs in there actually. And then this little tiny one there. What's that one? Squat lobster. Take that still. And then over here, although he's not very animated, that's a mitten crab, which has got great big claws for the size of it. And another little mitten crab hiding behind there. So we're going to go and try and find... You've already seen a spider crab. We've seen a, a big edible crab, but we missed him. So we're going to go and try and find some more. Is there anything else in the bucket now, is that no. it? Well, there's this oh. weird thing. Go on then, put that in as well. We'll have a look at that now. Prepare to be amazed. We haven't got a clue what this is. We found a couple of these the other week. I think it's, it's like a, a renipede. 
like a massive um, wood lice that goes underwater. We think it's a. Okay, next little round of uh, what we found. So, so we've got that's a shrimp. That's a shrimp. And we have what's that called again? What a bullhead scorpion fish. A head scorpion fish. You've got to watch them because if you tread on them, they've got a spiny back. And then over here is a crab. Yeah. Do you want to let those go? Yep, will do. Careful. Right, can you hold this, please? Thank you very much. Hold it nice and low. Flip over trying to get that water. <laughs> Backpack maxi I'm going to try and keep it out where I'm going to put an air reflection. Right, get the bucket. Okay, just while they all settle down, we've got a couple of shrimps. We've got a kind of a blenny type fish here. And then another little blenny type fish there. And fish that little crab out with a funny colour shell. Which one is it? There. That's it, turn it over. You see the colour of that shell? The strange one. There's a shrimp there. I found out there's a shrimp on the barbie, Bruce. And if you're ever wondering how to catch these, you see these oh, well done. Too, man. Pick him up. And as well. Put him back in. Don't go using your man's best cleaning bowl. Not a bad day. We've got, we'll have to count the species up, but we've got, uh, we've got quite a few. Yeah, a few fish, a few crabs, squat lobster, proper lobster, a couple of different types of starfish. Um, what else do we get? That's us now, on our way back to the car. So uh, we'll definitely be back here in the summer with wetsuits on. Wet Some of the pools that are further out at low tide, um, where we found the lobster, definitely look like they could have proper eatable size lobsters in there. So we'll be back for a look for them and some uh, bigger edible crabs. But uh, another good spot. I think if you're going to go rock pooling in the northeast. My only advice would be don't go to North Tyneside, St Mary's and places like that. They've got all the stuff there but you've got to pay for parking. So uh, get yourself up into Northumberland. Creswell Bay is brilliant. Uh, nice cream shop there as well. Yes. And toilets and stuff like that. But uh, further north you come, it's more remote. Which is generally a longer drive for us. So uh, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Lovely blue tail on it.